I started rowing in 2001 at university. Uh, I just got picked up at the Freshers' Fair. A bunch of guys came up to me and said, you're big, you should try this. And I just felt like trying something new and having a go at a, a recognised team sport. And yeah, I just went from strength to strength. Yeah, no, same here. I uh, started at university, uh, did it because uh, I wanted to get fit. I was getting quite fat in the rugby team, so fancied a change and went to the Freshers' Fair and kicked off with uh, rowing and never looked back. I didn't really realise I had massive talent um, for a while, but I was faster than the next guy by more than the whole of the rest of the team were grouped together. So I thought I could be good at it, but I didn't really know about technique. There's a lot more to rowing than pulling hard on a machine. I'm Jürgen Grobler. I'm uh, the chief coach for the heavyweight men. I'm working with Andy and Pete uh, since 2005. So we started off with a Coxus 4, and at the moment we are in a Coxus pair. I think we won the last Olympic games in the Coxus 4 and now uh, of course we're looking forward to try to do it again. What's Jürgen's skill is he, he can surprise you with what you can do so sometimes we think we're knackered and we think we're at the end but he says look guys I know you've got more in you and we go out and do some sort of training and we'll exceed our own expectations and that's the real value of Jürgen for me is that he knows how to find our new limits which is what we need. Rowing is not a professional sport, so you have working already with people, they have the passion as well, because they can't get rich. This is tough, hard work. You can see it if you look on the water today. And I think that is fascinating for me, bringing four, eight or two athletes together, working on the same side with sometimes different characters. Jürgen calls me the speedy man. Um, and, and Hodgie's the engine of the boat, uh, so he, he drives it um, and I sort of just have to control it and keep him in the reins, if you like. In a pair, we just become a little bit closer to one another because I'm, I'm so important to Andy and he's so important to me now because I have to mirror him exactly and do everything he does and there's a lot of pressure on that, but there's, there's a lot of reward as well. I think as the, the years have gone on, especially in the last 10 years, the, the technical aspects of the sport have come on leaps and bounds. Not, not just technique in the water, but technical as in the science behind the sport. So we've got all sorts of sensors all over the boat that can tell the coach exactly how we're moving, what power up that we're doing, the way we're accelerating through the stroke. is not just pulling as hard as you can, you pull in a certain way and, uh, and the, the boat moves accordingly. And getting as much feedback as we can on that constantly is, is really important. We were doing some testing earlier on today. We, um, we were doing some uh, racing pieces, some faster work, and then afterwards the physiologist just put a little uh, pinprick in our ear and take a drop of blood and uh, a sample that they can measure how much lactic acid is in the blood. So it's a, a good indication of how, how hard we we're working. We have done the winter work. I think we are in a good performance level, and I'm sure there's some more to come in the next uh, 18 months. So I think. Yeah, I'm really looking forward and we want to be successful and we want to show we are competitive so everybody, the rowing family in the country can be proud of us.